All right, guys, what is going on? And welcome back to episode of our Pokemon Yellow Randomized Nuzlocke. Hopefully, you guys are having yourselves a great day today. And if you do want to go to the episode, make sure to drop a like down below. Of course, the support is greatly appreciated. If we can hit another 500 likes on today's episode, that'd be absolutely amazing. And since today is such a special episode, considering we are taking on the Victory Road as well as the Elite Four, 500 likes would be super cool to hit. We're also coming to a close on this series. Thank you guys so much for all your support throughout. I know it's been kind of a short series, but it was always meant to be a short series because we have another series coming up very, very soon. So either way, here we are in Viridian City, just where we started this journey off, basically. I mean, it was like the first real town we came to, real city we came to. Either way, we have a full team of level 60s. Now, this could either be a cool idea or a very bad idea, considering the uh, champion's ace is still going to be like 70-something, like so... 60 was like in the middle because I don't want to be over leveled for the elite four if we're grinding for the champion So I kind of met it in the middle We're gonna be over leveled for the first couple elite four members, but then they're gonna start to catch up So we should be fine either way the champions going to be hard either way We have gummy our starter. We still have this thing not gonna say I'm surprised But either way this Mewtwo is psychic disable crab hammer and fire punch and we have Chuck the, uh, I almost said the Surf. <laughs> the Polyrath, the Double Kick, Surf, Rock Slide, and Hypnosis. Then, of course, we have Dry Bones, the Marowak. Of course, this thing's got Boomerang, Thrash, High Jump Kick, and Waterfall. Then we have Rick Ross, the Boss, the Electrode. Of course, with Thunder Punch, Psychic, Fire Punch, and Cut. Then we have Snow Cone, the Articuno. Okay, never mind. <laughs> we have Snow Cone, the Articuno, with Ice Beam, which is so freaking good. Fly, Blizzard, and Fire Punch. And then last but not least, we have Donatello the Scyther. I'm so glad this thing has lasted as long as it did, because I love using it. I actually learned Wing Attack as I was leveling uh, leveling this thing up, so now we have a stab move. Uh, although I saw you guys suggesting in the comments that we go ahead and get Fly on this thing, which is a great idea. Thank you guys for suggesting that, but I think I'm going to uh, keep Wing Attack because it is a one-turn attack, and it stabs, so you know what? Can't, uh, can't really go wrong with that. And uh, let's just go ahead and... Make our way to the Victory Road. I'm pretty sure we actually have to do a rival fight before we go into the Victory Road. Is that true? I think that might be true. And if that's true, I don't know how I feel about that. But let's see. Yep, there we go. Oh, well. What are we going to do? We actually did not do this the whole game. I'm really concerned that why we didn't. I should have done it like as soon as we got here. Whatever. Uh, Super, what a surprise to see you here. Uh, so you're going to the Pokemon League. You collected all the badges too. That's cool. Then I'll whip you. Supra as a warm-up for Pokemon League. Come on. Because I know you can take them on here as soon as you, um, like, get to this area uh, at the beginning of the game when we, like, got our first encounter here. We could have just fought our homie, but no, we didn't. He's got an Abra, though. It's level 52, so we should be okay for this fight. I'm just going to speed it up. Obviously, this isn't the real champion battle, so it doesn't really matter. And we'll just kind of get him out of here. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. He's got a Mankey now. Okay, chill, chill, chill. Squirtle. Uh, I don't know why I said chill for the Makey. It's such a weird Pokemon for you to say chill. Um, and of course, yes, it started the Venusaur. Get out of here. I'm sure we'll see you later in the episode. Super, you need more practice. Or did you say I need more practice or he need? You know that. I'm out of here. Sm did you say I need more practice? I didn't really read it. I wasn't paying attention. But if you said I need more practice, even though he just whooped his behind, then that's a little, that's a little skeptical. You might need to get your head on straight there, buddy. All right, well, let's hop into here. Uh, baggage check. <laughs> baggage check, yes, exactly what it is. Badge check, and then Victory Road. And I'm ready, I'm ready. I think um, I know my way throughout the Victory Road. I have Max Repel, so it's not that crazy of a deal if I don't. And you just gotta push a bunch of boulders, I'm pretty sure. I think that's what this one is. I'm not worried. I am not worried at all. Only if I have the Thunder Badge. Of course I have the Thunder Badge. I have all my badges, bro. Look at this. You see me stacked up right now? clean look at that we got them all pretty fast too i'm not gonna lie i mean last couple episodes we did do two gym leaders in one so makes sense as to why we got it so fast all right let's use chuck here and we can actually get an encounter for this area i'm pretty sure i think this whole area counts as a new area like this uh badge check i keep wanting to say baggage check but that's not what that is we're not in an airport right now <laughs> the marsh badge that's why i don't have a max repel and i'm trying to find a pokemon but i guess we can't find one I think there's some grass up here, though, so we're fine. We are fine. Look at this. Yeah, look at all this grass. All right, our encounter for the badge check area is a tentacle. All right. I mean, encounters this late in the game really don't matter too much, considering... Um, you know what? Hold on. 
I'm just gonna run away. I'm not gonna catch that thing. I'm not gonna need it between now and the champion. I'm gonna save it for, um, what's it called? I'm gonna save that last Ultra Ball, because I think we only have one more, right? Yeah, we only have one more. I'm gonna save it for, um, Victory Road. Just in case. Just in case we get something. We could lose a Pokemon on Victory Road, although it's very unlikely. It's possible, and then I'll have to find a replacement before we go to the Elite Four. So I want it to be the best Pokemon possible, so we'll just save it for this. Maybe it's something better. It's probably not. Whatever. Sometimes you gotta take risks. Alright, um... Let's get our encounter and then spray the repel, but we gotta use strength. Do you know strength? Yeah, I knew someone did. I just couldn't remember exactly. Alright, all this boulder pushing. I'm speeding... That happens... Way too many times when I do this, uh, Victory Road. <laughs> no, you can miss me with that. Okay, so it definitely wasn't better, but it's all right All right, well look at that. We don't have to waste any time trying to catch Pokemon I don't think I have a cat. I have a Weedle. So yeah, that was not Deep's Claws unfortunately We can't get a reroll and hopefully there's nothing better in here or else I'm gonna feel terrible uh, We can also do the Moltres encounter uh, if I find that by chance, because I'm not really going to go too far out of my way to find Moltres, because obviously we're out of a full team, there's not really too much of a point. But if we find it, I'm obviously going to encounter it. And if it's good, I'm obviously going to catch it, but we won't know until we get there. We definitely won't know. Yeah, but I always accidentally walk out the door when I try to push that boulder. It's so frustrating, but whatever. And I know there's a little place right here where you can choose which item you want. I'm not going to go crazy about this. I'm just going to get one of them randomly. And it's TM48. I think the other one's supposed to be like a rare candy or something. Solar Beam. Hmm. Like in the when it's not randomized. I think one's a TM and then one's uh what's it called? A rare candy? I don't know. I don't actually know. I'm just guessing. What's up, buddy? We'll take on some of these trainers. There's not really a point in not. We also don't really need the training, and I don't want to be too over leveled for the Elite Four. So I'm gonna try to avoid some. I feel like now it kind of makes sense as, you know, why I want to avoid them. It's not just because I'm too lazy and don't want to fight them. It's because, you know, I don't want to be broken over leveled. Uh, even though we might already be, I don't want to get any worse before we take on the Elite Four. So we're just gonna leave it at that. We're just gonna leave it right at that. So this is the area where I kind of get confused, I think. Uh, Cause there's a rock that you have to push through a, uh, what's it called? There he is. I was, I had him at the bottom and I forgot I moved him to the top. You gotta like push a boulder so it falls through one of the floors. Yeah, okay. What's up, buddy? Oh my god, he got a Blastoise. Chill. That you can actually chill on. Early when I said chill on some random Pokemon, I don't even remember. Was it a Mankey? You don't really have to chill on that. That's fine. You can stay as, you know, keep up that same energy, dude. But now, this dude's got to chill. He's got a Raichu and a Blastoise. Jeez, man. Oh, there's Moltres. What's up, buddy? You don't really look too much like a Moltres. <laughs> you look different. No more items. I'm just gonna toss Solar Beam. I'm not gonna use it. Swift. I'm waiting for Earthquake, man. I'm patiently waiting. What does a boy gotta do to get Earthquake around here? Seriously. Ugh. Like the only TM I want. It'd be so useful on every single one of our party members. Super Potion. Alright, I definitely don't need that, so. I'm just gonna use it and then call it a day. Creep up a uh, spot in our bag. For this item, whatever this is. TM12. So many TMs. And none of them are good. Razor Wind is downright one of the worst moves ever to be created. It's a two-turn normal attack. That's just absolute baloney. It's horrible. There's no reason, no optimal reason to ever use Razor Wind. I want this item. I don't care what I don't care that I have to fight someone to get it. I want this item. Also, when Electro got to like level 60, I want to say, it tried to learn Explosion, and I was like, you know what? As funny as that would be, I'm going to go ahead and say no. I'm going to go ahead and say no. Imagine if I start the episode off, I'm like, yo, so I found this really cool move. It's called Explosion, so I decided to teach it to my Electro. Everyone would be like, uh, uh, Supra? I don't know about that one, bro. I'm like, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? So this is where you need to push the boulder. Another... Hydro Pump, that's getting better. That's not bad at all, actually. Um, who wants to learn it? That's the real question. I like Hypnosis on Chuck. Rick Ross can't learn it. Or he can't make space for it. I don't need Blizzard and Ice Beam. I haven't used Blizzard once, I don't think. So, I'll just get rid of it. 
It's fine. If we end up needing it, I'm just gonna bite the bullet. Whatever. Uh, first, I do want to go here, though, because I think this is how you get to Moltres. No, you can't even get- that's definitely not how you get to Moltres. My bad. I should not speak about things I have no idea, like, what's going on. Uh, that's not it. Alright, so you just push this one up. Makes sense to me. Also, these max repels are lasting, like, really, really long. I'm pretty happy. Alright, yeah, now we cannot speed up. Like, speeding up is so bad. Like, it's fine when you're pushing a boulder, like, that far. But when you're doing these boulder puzzles, you do not want to speed up. You definitely don't. Because if you put the rock in the one wrong spot, you can't move it, and you're screwed, and you have to start all over. There we go. So now I can go up here, though. Which is where I want to go. Here we go. Alright, what's up, dudes? How you, how you doing? You're standing a little weird. That's kind of awkward, I'm not gonna lie. You want to battle? You got a Weedle, oh my goodness. Bone Club. Another Weedle. Now we have a stab move, it feels so good. But that seems so late for Scyther to get a stab move. Like, they really gypped him out of a good moveset in this game. They really did. Oh, we can get out now. Yeah, this is the exit, basically. So I guess we're not doing Moltres, which I'm fine with. I know some of you guys want to see it. I'm sorry. I found the way- I made the deal with myself. I found the way out without having to, you know, run into Moltres. So this is what we're doing. I know how to get there. It's just not worth it. There's no point. Let's just focus on the Elite Four. It's- even if it's something good, it's not like I'm gonna use it, so it doesn't really matter. I know just the factor of knowing what it is. You know, it's nice to know, but I don't want to run all the way back in. Undo the Strength Puzzle. Because uh, you have to redo that Strength Puzzle because we left the place, so... There's just no point. No point. We just waste too much energy. We can't waste energy, dude. Okay? Wanna know why? Because the mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell. Okay? And since it's key for respiration, you can't be wasting energy because you can't waste your mitochondria. I know you know what I'm talking about. Alright, um, let's just waste some more money real quick if we can. I probably have to sell some stuff, but we can sell that. I'm not gonna use, like, a moon... I... You can pay zero dollars for a moonstone. You know what? Sure, it'll free up a slot in the bag. I'm down. At this point in the game, just take all my stuff. I'm not gonna be using that. I don't even care what it is. I don't care what that is. I need some full restores. This is what we really need. I need ten of them. Five of those. Three of those. Why not? Alright, I think we're prepared. I think we are prepared for the Elite Four. We're going in. No ifs and or uh, ifs ands or buts. I can't even say this thing that I was going for. All right, well, let's just lead off with Donatello. He's in the front. Welcome to the Pokemon League. I'm Lorelei of the Elite Four. No one can best me when it comes to icy Pokemon. Oh yeah, icy Pokemon. You got some ice on the wrist. I feel you, Lorelei. I feel you. All right, this is exciting, man. Elite Four of the Kanto region. I've never beaten Pokemon Yellow before. This will be the first time. And right off the bat, we're starting off with the devil himself. Ditto. Now, I'm not going to Swords Dance on this thing. Simply because I don't want him to copy my stat changes when he, uh... Right, I don't even know if they do in this game. But I don't want my... Uh, you know, I don't want a chance for my stats to be copied. Because I don't want a plus two Scyther on the other side of the field. Like, you have me absolutely messed up if you think that's something I want. Hell no! However, I will just stay in and wing attack everything. You're dead. I don't care. You're a Beedrill. You are not bulky at all. Literally the opposite. Tauros. Let's go to Chuck and double kick this thing. I gotta remember I do have high jump kick on, um... On... Dry Bones, so... I can go for that if need be. Ding. That's a nothing. Oh my god. Oh, the Rage! Oh. I didn't know Rage buffed the actual attack stat in this game. That still did nothing. <laughs> if you went for anything else, we could have been screwed, because he was plus two. I thought it just built the power of the move. Wow, I am dumb. I was going to stay in, but we'll get everyone some playtime. Let Rick Ross thunder punch this thing in the face. This actually probably won't do that much damage now that I think about it, but... Let's see. See, this thing's level 62. So we are not going to be over level. We are fine. Yeah, you can you can go down. Stuff like that, I'm going to speed up. If he goes for rage, we know it's not going to kill, so... Might as well save us. 
save us a little bit of time, and I'm gonna stay with uh, on the Sea King. Let me go for a clean Thunder Punch. If we did not have Thunder Punch on this guy's moveset, we would be so screwed. Like, there would be no point in using an, uh, <gasps> using an Electrode ever. And look at this, hold on. Something I noticed, look at, look at the Sea King sprite there. He's like, oh shit. <laughs> like when the colors change, it'll be he's like, oh, uh, oh God. I'm sorry, bro, I had to do it to you. I had to do it to you. All right, next Elite Four member. The first one wasn't so bad. What's up, Bruno? Bruno's always been my Elite Four member from the uh, favorite Elite Four member from this region, by the way. He's just so cool looking. I don't know. He's all like so, he's so ominous, but he's so determined, and he's just I don't know. He's cool. I am Bruno of the Elite Four. That's awesome, bro. Let's battle. I didn't read any of your dialogue. I didn't read any of that dialogue. I always feel like so much more productive when I'm drinking coffee and recording. I have no idea why, like it doesn't help at all with my productivity. It just makes me feel like, like I'm doing it, like I'm actually out here doing it. I, I have no idea how to describe it, but that's what it does. All right, Rick Ross, let's hit this thing up. Crab hammer. Is guillotine in this game? I don't think it would hit me because I'm a higher level though, so. I don't know if I have to worry about that too much, and you're gone. Yeah, Kingler has his poor special defense, or a special stat, basically, I should say, because it's Gen 1. I did not expect that thing to live. Porygon now. I'm going to Dry Bones, and I'm high jump kicking this thing. Definitely. I also love Porygon Sprite in this game. Look at the little thing. Look at him. He's adorable. He really just looks exactly like a duck in this. Like, I kind of meme around and call this thing a duck, but this it actually looks like a duck. Oh, I'm confused. Is that how- I didn't even notice that. That's what happens when I speed through Psybeam. Okay, well. We are level 61 now, thank god. Of course, we actually needed that. Go to Gummy for this thing. Almastar's sprite is also funny as hell. Why is he dancing? Why is he grooving so hard, bro? Come on. Back to reality. We, we're in an Elite Four battle. It's a heated match, and you're just dancing, Almastar. Go for Horn Attack. This is- the Elite Four, like I said. Just go for- Surf me! Hit me harder! It's kind of pissing me off. These are just going- Like, these other Pokemon are just going for Psybeam and Rage, and it's just like, kill me! Try! <laughs> also, I would have loved to use a Magmar in this game. I've never actually used a Magmar by itself. I've used Magmortar before, I'm pretty sure, but I've never actually used Magmar by itself in a game where Magmortar doesn't exist. So it would have been pretty cool to use a Magmar, I am not gonna lie, but unfortunately, that's not gonna happen. We all know. Butterfree. Um, I'm gonna snow cone for this then. Level 64 already. And you're gone. That was that. Defeated Bruno. How could I have lost? I have no idea. Alright, now it's homegirl time. Our homegirl right here, Agatha. Just a nice old lady doing nice old lady things, you know. Let's use Gummy. Alright. I am Agatha of the Elite Four. Oak's taken a lot of interest in you, child. Uh, that old Duff was once tough and handsome. That was decades ago. Uh, now he just wants to fiddle with his Pokedex. He's wrong. Pokemon are for fighting. Super, I'll show you how a real trainer fights. Alright, well, that did not need to get so serious so quickly, but sure, let's go. Also, uh, I was looking through the Pokedex of this game, like our Pokedex in game, and we've seen almost every single Pokemon except for like a couple really random ones. We've seen all like the cool, powerful Pokemon, but we haven't seen like. Actually, now we've seen Tentacool. Tentacool is one of those Pokemon, I'm pretty sure, because uh, but earlier in this episode we saw one. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll show you guys after this. I don't think we've seen Caterpie or something like that. I don't know. Alakazam. See, I was talking and I didn't even see what he was sending out. This is kind of bad, I'm not gonna lie, but... Um... Let's go for a Fire Punch. I'm just gonna speed this up because we've done this fight before and I just want to get it over with. Burn. There you go. Okay. We fought Sabrina, we did kind of that same thing. Uh, I would stay in, but I'm going out too. Put me right here. Token was gonna hit this thing with a fly. Hopefully it works out. If it doesn't and we get rock slid or something, we're screwed. Honestly, that submission might do what we missed. Oh, it's seismic toss. It's not gonna do much. 
I probably should have healed. If he crits me on the next submission because of that focus energy, I'm going to be so freaking upset. Because I, I really should have healed up or swapped. No, we're, oh my god, I thought it was going to... You just saved me so... Why did you do that? Oh, <gasps> Yo, and frozen... Uh, getting frozen in generation one is just... It's just like death because... It's so hard for you to thaw. I don't even know if you can thaw out, but it's so hard to thaw in Generation 1. I'm staying in. I'm just going for Ice Beam. Yep, we all knew that was killing. Sand Slash. I'm staying in. One more. One more for the one time. Ice Beam. You're dead. I don't care. Your special defense is not good at all. Yeah, get out of there. Easy fight, easy life. All right, well, look at that. You win. I see what the old dove sees in you now. I have nothing else to say. Run along now, child. All right, well, probably the most difficult fight yet, but fights haven't been so terrible, obviously. Like, other than being underleveled, it's not really that difficult. But, I mean, what can you really expect? The AI, uh, the AI in the game is not that great. So I'm not expecting too hard of matches, but that's why I made myself underleveled. Okay, I'm gonna lead off with Donatello. Try to sword dance on whatever Lance wants to send out. Ah, I heard about you, Supra. I lead the Elite Four. You can call me Lance the Dragon Trainer. You know what dragons are? Uh, did you know that dragons are mythical Pokemon? They're hard to catch and raise, but their powers are superior. They're virtually indestructible. Well, are you ready to lose? Your lead challenge ends with me. Oh boy. Um... Someone just tweeted me telling me I forgot the old Amber in the Pewter Museum. And I feel like I should bring that up considering we're recording, or I'm recording right now. That series that he's talking about, and I'm sorry that I forgot the old Amber in Pewter Museum. I'm sure it would have helped us so much getting a level... Is... 5 Pokemon? Getting a level 5 or 25 Pokemon when our Pokemon are level 60. I'm sure it would have helped out a lot. Very sure. Okay, uh, this is not good at all. I'm swapping a Chuck. Like, there was a bone in my body that wanted a Sword Stance there, but if he goes for any rock move, I could die. Actually, probably not. Onyx has a lower attack stat than Oddish. Oddish. Let that sink in for just a mere second. Yeah, I know. It's ridiculous. I don't think we would have died. I think we actually would have been quite fine. <laughs> Alright, um... I jump think should do it. It killed the last one, I'm pretty sure. Yep, there we go. Or maybe it didn't, because it took two turns. I don't remember. The fable. I'm going for the same thing. I'm waiting for that to miss, man. I really don't want it to miss. Minimize. Well, now I'm definitely not going for it. You're insane if you think I'm going for it. Wow, that hit. I will take that. Thank you, Dry Bones. I appreciate that, homie. Another Zam. I'm sick of these things, dude. They're actually so scary. I'm doing the same thing. I'm sorry. I, I just gotta, like, I'm speeding up and then watching the Alakazam's name. Just so I make sure he doesn't do anything too crazy. All right, there we go. Yeah, those fights just take a little bit, you know. Gyarados! This is another Pokemon we haven't seen. That's awesome. We finally get to see it. And in the fight where we're fighting Lance. That's cool. Look at that. And after this, I'll try to remember to show you guys. Is that killing? To show you guys the Pokedex. Because it's really cool. We have it pretty much almost filled. Obviously not with caught Pokemon. See what I mean? Hyper Beam is so good. Okay, you're done. You're done. It didn't even matter. The moment I knew you had to recharge, I was like, yeah, we're fine. I still can't believe my dragons lost to you, Supra. You're now the Pokemon League champion. Or it would have been. We have one more challenge ahead. You have to face another trainer, and his name is Pat. He beat the Elite Four before you. He is the real Pokemon League champion. Well, that's just crazy. But look at this, guys. Look at this. See, we're missing... Nita ran. Nita ran male. I mean, yeah, Nita ran male. Uh, we're missing Venomoth. Uh, let's see, Growlithe, uh, Poliwhirl, and after that we should be pretty good. I Menchop. I don't think there's much after that. Uh, there's Seal. Uh, Execute. I think after that we're pretty much filled. Yeah, look at that. Damn, so we're doing pretty good on that Pokedex. Obviously, I don't really care too much because I'm not trying to complete it or anything, but it's kind of cool just to see that we made a lot of progress. Uh, but either way, 
Oh my god, I almost just walked in. That would have been so funny. Uh, but yeah, that's gonna do it for this episode, guys. We took down the whole Elite Four as well as the Victory Road, obviously. Very exciting stuff. Next episode will be the finale where we take on the champion and hopefully come out with another Nuzlocke victory. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. 500 likes is the goal. And I will catch you guys next time when we finish off this series. Peace out, guys.